Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about while loops in C. Now, a while loop is basically a structure in the C programming language that we can use to loop over and continually execute a specific block of code until a certain condition is false. So I can specify a condition and then I can basically just loop over a bunch of code until that condition is no longer true. And loops can be really useful. There's a lot of times in our programs where we're gonna to wanna to like continually do something while something else is true or while a certain condition uh, is met. And I'm gonna show you guys a really basic while loop in this tutorial and then in the next tutorial, we're actually gonna build a really cool guessing game using while loops. So it should be pretty fun and you should get a pretty good idea of like how these things work. The first thing I wanna do, um, and this isn't directly related to creating a while loop though, is I wanna create an integer. So I'm just gonna create an integer called index and I'm gonna set it equal to one. Now what I wanna do is I wanna actually create a while loop and you guys will see where this index comes into play. So in order to create a while loop, I can just type out while and open and close parentheses and then an open and close curly bracket. And this is basically like the outline, sort of like the template for our while loop. Basically how this is gonna work is up here in these parentheses, I'm gonna specify a condition. And as long as that condition is true, I'm gonna loop through all of the code inside of these curly brackets. So inside of these curly brackets, I'm gonna put a bunch of code, and as long as the condition in these parentheses is true, I'm gonna execute all that code. So up here, we're gonna specify a condition. I'm gonna specify a condition that index is less than or equal to five. So while index is less than or equal to five, I wanna execute all the code inside of here. So I'm gonna put some code in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna print out the value of index. So over here, I'm just gonna say, we wanna print out an integer and I'm just gonna print out index. So we'll be printing out index and actually why don't we print out a new line every time too. There we go. And finally, after this, I wanna increment the index variable. So I can just say index is equal to index plus one. Basically, I'm adding one onto the index every time. And actually, I wanna show you guys something in C. There's gonna be a lot of situations where you're gonna to wanna to do something like this. Basically, add one to an existing variable. And in C, there's actually a shortcut we can use. So I can come over here and I can just say index plus plus, and this is gonna do the same thing. So this is just gonna add one to the index. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm saying I want to print out index and then I want to increment index and I'm going to keep looping through this code while index is less than or equal to five. So let's go ahead and run this program and maybe you can predict what's going to happen. You'll see over here I'm printing out the numbers one through five. So I'm printing out one, two, three, four, and five. And let me walk you guys through exactly what's happening in this loop. Over here, we create this index variable and we set it equal to one. And basically when C goes to execute this program, the first thing it's gonna do before it does anything else is it's gonna look at this condition and it's gonna check the condition. And it's gonna say, okay, is index less than or equal to five? Well, the first time through index is equal to one. So it's definitely less than five. C is gonna go through, it's gonna execute this line of code, printing out one then it's gonna execute this line of code, incrementing uh, index. Then what C is gonna do is it's gonna come all the way back up here and it's gonna check this condition again. So it's gonna say, okay, is index less than or equal to five? And index at this point is equal to two, so it's less than five. So it's gonna go through, execute this line of code, execute this line of code. Now index is equal to three and C is gonna go all the way back up to the top it's gonna check this condition again. So before C goes through this loop, it's always gonna it's always gonna check the condition first. So before it's allowed to go and execute that code again, it has to check the condition to make sure that it's true. Eventually, we're gonna to get to a situation where index gets incremented and it gets incremented up to six. Then C is gonna come back up here and it's gonna to check to see if six is less than or equal to five. It's gonna be false and we're gonna move on with our lives in the program. And that's the basics of while loops. So this seems very simple and that's because it is. All we do is specify a condition. As long as that condition's true, we keep doing all this stuff in here. And there's tons of situations where while loops are gonna come in handy. This is just one of them where we can print out like numbers between one and five. I also do wanna point out one thing that you might wanna watch out for, which is called an infinite loop. And an infinite loop is a situation where this condition up here never becomes false. 
So this condition will just always stay true. And there's certain circumstances where you're gonna wanna use something like an infinite loop, but in a lot of circumstances, you're not gonna wanna go anywhere near something like that. So let me just demonstrate so you guys can see. So if I stopped incrementing this, if I just got rid of index plus plus, now when I run my program, you'll see that it's just continually printing out ones. I mean, look at all these ones that are getting printed out. You can see like the text editor is kind of going crazy. This program is just, it keeps executing through that loop and it's still going right now. So this would keep going forever if I let it keep going infinitely, hence the name. So I'm just gonna terminate this, but that'll kind of show you like uh, how an infinite loop works and you definitely wanna watch out for that because you'll get into situations as you work with while loops where they'll just become infinite and you, you know, you need to watch out for that. Especially if you're doing something a little bit more advanced where you're like siphoning off memory or you're creating processes or something, it can uh, slow your computer down quite a bit. So this is a while loop and this is a really great loop. There's also one other type of loop uh, that's similar to a while loop that I want to talk to you guys about. And before I do that, I just want to uh, do something really quick. So I'm going to set this index equal to six. Right, I'm gonna set this equal to six and I'm gonna run my program and what you're gonna notice is nothing's gonna get printed out. So the code inside of this while loop isn't gonna print out because the first thing we always do when we run this while loop is we check this condition. So the first thing C is gonna do before it prints anything, before it increments anything, it's gonna check this condition. And if it's false, it's not gonna do any of this stuff. So when I run this program, you'll see nothing's gonna get printed out and that's exactly what happens. There's another type of loop uh, that's similar to a while loop, which is called a do while loop. And I'm gonna show you how to make one. All you have to do is take this while thing up here and paste it down here below. And then up here, I'm just gonna say do. And a do while loop is similar to a while loop, but the first thing a do while loop does, instead of checking this condition down here, is it executes all of this code. So even though index is equal to six, we're still gonna print out six and we're still gonna increment it. And then we're gonna check the condition to see if we can keep looping. So let me show you guys this and this should illustrate what this is doing. And actually I need to put a semicolon here. So you can see over here, we're printing out six. So unlike before when we just used that while loop, now because we're using a do while loop, we're doing whatever was inside of that loop before we're checking the condition. And there's gonna be certain circumstances where a do while loop will uh, come in handy. I would say by far while loops are way more common, um, but just, you know, it's good to know about do while loops because there are certain circumstances where they'll come in handy. Basically anytime you don't wanna be checking the condition first, you can use a do while loop. But those are the two basic types. And there's actually another type of loop that we'll talk about later in the course, which is called a for loop. But for now, we're gonna have some fun with while loops. And in the next tutorial, we're gonna be building a little guessing game. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.